Okay, so let's go into your reading here. So let me just talk about this first. I feel almost as if um, the past 10 months. So let's talk about the past 10 months. Your financial wealth, your empire has been, you know, building, growing and things like that. So you've been accumulating money. You've been pretty smart about money, making uh, wise career choices, making wise uh, work choices, as well as taking on additional projects. That's going to bring about a lot of financial abundance for you. The past 10 months, you were at a point where you had disposable income. You started building up your wealth. You started budgeting and you started, you know, like really taking good care of your money and not spending frivolously. So I feel like you're at a point here where you have enough money to invest. You have enough money to um, splurge. Okay. I don't feel that you are too extravagant with money, but I feel like you understand the value of hard work and you understand that it sometimes take a, a little bit of time to get our financial footing. And I feel like you're coming into this month with quite a bit of a um, financial abundance, but also disposable income and having money in the bank. And I feel like a lot of you are looking at, you know, purchasing new vehicles, purchasing new items. And I'm seeing like vehicles, cars, electronics, bicycles, even, um, you know, the, the motorbikes, especially if, if you have children or even like for yourself as like a, um, it, it seems to me as like a, a little bit of, of a thrill seeking thing that you you do on the side, like a hobby or just something that you want to feel that makes you feel alive again. There's an element of risk associated with it as well. So I feel like you are planning to divert your funds to do something, either, you know, uh, buying big ticket items, rewarding yourself and things like that. What I'm also feeling is there are unexpected financial, um, investments or you know spending happening for this month something that you didn't anticipate so at the beginning of the month it's not good for you to splurge on anything okay so i feel like for this month there should be a spending freeze until something is like absolutely necessary for either work or for 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 you know everyday expenses but i feel like you need to be very careful about not buying anything especially big ticket items for this month especially electronics and so there's going to be some unexpected expenditures and i feel like it might be in the the three four thousand range okay up to like seven thousand so just um keep that in mind and try not to minimize you know your spending a lot okay just just try not to do any big ticket item purchases for this month overall and with that coming in it's going to be a little bit uh difficult to part with your hard-earned money but you're going to need to because i feel like it's coming to an official channel so it's coming from you to an official channel so either paying back a huge loan paying back student loans for some of you paying back like um and um, I feel like it's going back through like an official channel. So it's it's money that is um, siphoned off and going back to its source where it rightfully belongs. Okay. And so it's going to hurt just a little bit. And I feel like you work really hard and you want it to have this disposable income. But there's some something unexpected coming through here for this month. For a lot of you, it might just be taxes if you're in the States. It's tax season in April. So for some of you, it might just be, you know, taxes. And then for others of you, paying back something that has been like kind of like a heavy cloud over your head. And after you pay it off, you're going to feel very empowered. You're going to feel very free. Okay. So the next thing that's coming through and that speaks out very loudly to me is uh, the relationships. So let's talk about that because um, I, I get a little bit of a funny message. So first of all, what we have in the relationship sector, and this is romance. Let's talk about romance first, because um, this screams out romance to me. We have here the five of wands. This is a situation where you you have like this, um, I almost feel like this love-hate relationship with another person. You can't live with them, can't live without them. And there's intense chemistry, strong chemistry, but um, lack of compatibility, okay? So overall, you say one thing, they interpret it as another, and they say one thing, you interpret it as something else. So I feel like, you know, the, the communication flows well. There's a lot of exchange. There's a lot of emotional and mental, you know, connections. But overall, the things that you mean and the things that they mean are completely different. And so um, working together as a unit has been quite difficult for you guys the past five months. 
But I feel like things are starting to harmonize. You you start to learn how to navigate each other's energy. So, you know, a relationship starts out as like a dance. You Somebody leads, somebody either follows or tries to lead. And so, you know, it, it can create like a little bit of a clumsy energy in that honeymoon stage. And so after five months time, I feel like it's sufficient time for you to know how to navigate each other's energies. And so you're working together at a, as a unit. Um, I feel like little minor annoyances is still in the picture. And I feel like you're somewhat amused by this person because they might be a little bit clumsy. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's a little bit like childlike and a little bit clumsy and a little bit inexperienced. So there's that a little bit of an embarrassment um, when you have to talk to them about certain things. So that's what I'm getting with this card here. It's not a bad energy at all. And I feel like with it in the reverse, it basically means that conflict is alleviated, okay? Conflict subsiding. You're working, working together harmoniously and not at cross purposes with one another anymore. And I also feel this element of competition. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who who is a little bit competitive. So um, for example, I'm, I'm getting this message. Um, it, so let, let's just say that um, you, you might have had taken a break from each other, right? And then the other person says, so how many people have you been dating? And then you say, well, what about you? How many people have you been dating? So I feel like it's a playful, competitive energy, kind of like that. And um, there is a little bit of a holding a grudge here, but I, I feel like it's harmless. I feel that it is innocent. And overall, I feel like there is a lot of harmony being restored, brought back into the relationship. So two people no longer working at cross purposes with one another and agreeing on a course of action. Um, I feel like, once again, you're spending a lot of your time um, either asking about the other person, um, talking to the other person, spending a lot, a majority of your time um, interacting with them. So I feel like you are giving yourself to the other person, okay? You're making sure that they're, what they're, that they're eating right. You're making sure that they're healthy. You're making sure that they're happy. And so I feel like it's also being reciprocated here because you're giving them this and you feel like, oh, I'm not giving them that much, you know, but I feel like what you're getting back is this here. We have the pay, uh, the Ace of Cups, which is basically, you know, love handed to you from on the Holy Grail. And I, I feel like it's a situation where whatever you put in, you're being rewarded tenfold. So this person honestly really, really cares about you. And I feel like you know that and you feel very safe in their presence because you know that whatever you're giving out, whatever you're giving out here, it's basically being reciprocated tenfold. This is a pretty big cup, okay? And so your emotional needs are definitely met in this relationship. And I feel like you might feel like, oh, I'm just doing the bare minimum, but you're getting a lot back, okay? So I feel like somebody really, really cares about you here. And you're with the right relationship partner because I feel that um, your everyday um, activities are basically uh, revolves around the other person. And I, I feel the same way with them, okay? So this is a very, very good connection that I'm seeing here. Um, the other message that I have here, and it coincides with the driving situation, so I, I want you to once again be careful. And it's shown up here in the upright position, but I'm sensing that because it's in the finance house, there's going to be a huge influx of money. And I feel like by the summer time frame, um, June, July, August specifically, there's going to be a major uptick in your financial situation. But once again, be careful about the car. For those of you, um, the car picture keeps coming up. So I don't know if recently you have um, gotten in an accident, like in the March timeframe and you're shopping for a new car, but I do see new vehicles coming through and a lot of um, major, major expenditures as well, such as car payments, uh, higher rates of insurance because it's a new vehicle. So all of that coming through, but I do feel like around the uh, summer time frame, your financial situation is going to um, escalate. So it's going to get better and better for you guys. Okay. So finances, it's a little bit difficult to part with a huge chunk of money this month, but overall things are, you know, it's going to start to fill up again. Your savings is going to start to 
increase incrementally until the summer time frame and it might just start taking off okay so you have some really positive things when it comes to your financial situation um i do feel here there is a little bit of a communication breakdown within your household so um what i feel is like they're saying first of all um especially if you are living with other people roommates um even like um elderly parents that are living with you or elderly parents that um that belongs to your partner i feel like it's a little bit of a crowded environment and i feel like you you might not have that peace of mind that you're hoping for so first of all we have here this is a card about lack of cooperation and it shows up with the three of cups in the reverse three of cups in the reverse um harsh words being exchanged in the family environment so i feel like you know somebody's giving someone else the dose of the truth and they might not want to hear it and it, the truth might be a little bit harsh or a little bit hurtful and i also feel a situation where uh in the housing environment somebody is not taking care of their responsibilities okay so if you have housemates for example um, let's say, you know, you have a chore list and, um, Tuesday, Laura is supposed to wash the dishes and, you know, she's reneging on her responsibilities or like there is a responsibility that clearly belongs to one person, but they're not doing their fair share to, you know, manage their responsibility. So I feel that coming through, be very patient with other people. Of course, it's really important to remind other people because I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a little bit overindulgent. They have the time, but they might shirk their responsibilities because they don't want to put in the work. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody like that in your home environment. I feel for some of you, it might be siblings. I feel like for some of you, very strong siblings vibe coming through here and roommates come through as well as um i i see like you know um young like teenage kids and i i don't feel like they're going to be 15 and younger i feel like they're older than 15 it's it's like they should know better but they're not holding up their end of the bargain and so your instinct is you know to get mad and i feel like that might create defensiveness from their end and so it's really important for you to just remind them okay say it once in the morning say it once at night and um and then you can get mad if you choose to but i feel like they should know better they're old enough but they're not really taking care of their responsibilities and especially if you have a tendency of uh stepping in in the past to take care of the responsibilities rather than confronting them with it they're they're gonna you know expect you to do the work and just be really careful about that okay there is going to be a lot of communication coming through this month when it comes to projects and when it comes to financing. So I don't know if you guys, uh, some of you are in a position where you are looking for financiers. You're looking for people to be on board with a specific project, but there's going to be a lot of discussions. There's going to, going to be a lot of, um, tweaking, um, refining, honing in on, redoing. Uh, redrawing something so I, i'm seeing like literally some of you are sitting at a draft table and there's like you know that um the carbon copies of something i see like contracts i also see like um a, a drawing like a blueprint for something it's going to need to be redo redone it's going to need to be redrawn so that it it meets the requirement okay so contracts whatever has been drawn up i feel like it's it needs to be revisited so that you can um, move ahead and I also feel like in your work environment it seems like the environment is a little bit crowded a lot of people too many people involved offering their inputs as well so it's going to feel a little bit claustrophobic but I feel like you are approaching work in a very light-hearted way and I also feel as well there's going to be a lot of pleasantries um, in your work environment uh, interacting with pleasant people feeling as if you're not going to be too busy that you can't really enjoy you know taking uh, a longer lunch longer breaks and just um interacting with people so the energy for this month is very light-hearted and i feel like the light-hearted energy 
is permeating from your relationship sector, when that is going really well, all the other things in your life don't seem to matter so much. And money seems to be going, um, coming in, in like a huge spike of money. So I feel like things are going well. So even though there might be this top minor irritation when it comes to the work environment, having to redo things and having to, I guess like uh, I'm seeing some of you dashing from place to place to gather material, okay? So driving back and forth to different work locations, getting materials, but feeling quite good because I feel like um, you, you, you have some really good things here in your relationship sector and I feel like that's making you, you know, whistle at work. It's making you feel quite good. So overall, so that's what I'm seeing here. The other message that I have here for you is um, I'm seeing some of you are making great strides and great traction in your career. And I feel a lot of it is attributed to the fact that you know how to be um, very accommodating. You know how to speak to people so that you become very relatable. And I also feel like you know how to, um, it, it's sort of like put people at ease or make people feel at ease around you. You have a really good um, knack about doing that. Like you guys are really good at that water signs in general. I've seen it with like uh, cancers where they're very, very likable. And I've seen it with Pisces where they immediately, they know how to connect to other people on an emotional level. But like with Scorpios, um, when you interact with somebody, no matter who it is, they feel like they're the only one in the room with you. And I feel like you have a a really good, like you, you, you have, you're apt about doing that. And you do it in a way where the other person feels as if no matter, matter what you've got their back, that you really listen to what they have to say. So I feel like your people skills, even though you might not even like people, even though you'd rather, you know, work on a deserted island and be okay. I feel like your people skills is getting you where you are right now professionally. And at the same time, I'm sensing that for some of you, it's almost like learning to accommodate other people, knowing how to, you know, make light of a situation so that people are not stressed out, knowing the right thing to say in a specific environment to de-escalate conflict and tension. And all of these qualities are um, allowing you, these qualities are allowing you to rise ahead in your work environment. So they're saying... There's going to be a breakthrough, a major, major change happening for you in the career sector, okay? And you've, you've learned the skills to gradually, you know, climb that ladder and to get yourself where you're going to be um, in a position of power and where you're going to be exactly where you need to go. However, with the judgment card in the reverse position, there is a little bit of a delay, and so I feel like something needs to finish up first. And a lot of it is like a decision making process. It's um, dependent upon many, many people. So you might have to go in front of like a panel or review board or even a board of directors or even like a major interview process in order for your, you to get there. But the decision is, um, is made between many people. So I feel like there's a little bit of a delay. For some of you, I feel like major traction in your career happening towards, um, possibly for this month, but also I'm seeing that October time frame. Okay. So like the, the end of this year right before, well, when the, the sun comes into your constellation, so that's going to be late October, I feel like that's when you're going to be able to implement this major new career move, okay? So wealth is building up slowly. Your emotional life, I feel like some of you might be involved here with a another water sign. So this is a another Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. And I feel like this person is bringing a lot of uh, a lot of faith, a lot of love, and a really soft, buoyant energy. I feel like it's very soft and it's um it's very reassuring and it's very in sync with yours. If you're dealing with somebody who's also different, I feel like there might be that series of like ebb and flow, you know, like uh, a little bit of conflict, makeup, and then conflict, and then ki you kiss and makeup. But I feel that this is going to be a very dynamic month. A lot of different things are happening across the board and I don't see any major blockages coming through from your end. What I really like to see here is this Ace of Cups, which basically means that, you know, you're going to feel very emotionally fulfilled this month. You're going to feel very proud is what I'm sensing. You're, you're going to feel like 
You don't have to push things along, that things naturally flow the way that you'd like. And also, because of these two characters showing up, they might be, it, it seems like, you know, uh, whatever misconnections you have, you've had in the past, I feel like you're going to be um, going to either reconcile or rekindle with one another, okay? So I feel that it is going to be a very good month, uh, Scorpio. So take heed when I mention about the car. That came out very strongly, okay? And I, I feel like it came out for cancers as well. So please be careful about driving. 